And in this video, I'm going to show you how to cut out the front view of your car, which is actually the side of your car. Check out these next scenes to learn out tips and tricks for your success. So I am over at the scroll saw. This is the point where a lot of kids are going to say, well, where should I cut first? And the answer is it doesn't really matter, but I personally like to make this main cut. It doesn't matter if you start out at the back and go this way or come the other way. But one thing I do recommend once you start cutting, do not stop, do not back up, just continue on. Even if you come off of your line slightly, I would just go with it because keep in mind, once you rip your pattern off, nobody knows whether you stayed on the line or not. The only time that I might back up and start again would be if I'm about to cut into an axle hole or if I'm about to cut into a power plant housing. Otherwise, you just go. So just like with all cuts, I'm adjusting the hold down foot. My piece of wood is on the left of the saw blade. I'm snugging that up, pulling this out, and then I'm ready to cut. Check out how I do this next. All right, so if you check this out, my car is finally starting to look like a car. Just a little side note, I don't throw this away until I'm done with my car. That way, if I discover I've made something illegal, you just a little bit of wood glue away from being back to the starting point. So hold on to these things until the very end. So the next thing is decision time. The question you're gonna ask yourself is, do you keep cutting? If you look at this design, there's still more that's gonna get cut out. There's this entire section down here and then a section back there. Most of you are gonna say, yes, I should con con continue cutting unless you're doing something like this. If you're drilling a hole through your car, my advice, leave the bottom of this car flat until you've drilled that hole. If you're gonna do that, look at the end of this video. I'm gonna have a link that shows you how to drill these parts of your CO2 car. But if you're not, and you're like me, you're gonna do something different with your top view, then it's time to cut these other pieces out. I'm gonna do that now if you wanna check it out. All right, so cuts from me on the side, they are finished. Here is my car as it looks now. You probably remember I removed this piece with my first cut. I am saving that extra piece just in case I notice I made a mistake. I recently just cut that piece off and that piece. I now have what I'm calling a completed side view. But please, please, don't forget 
hold all your pieces until the very end. That's it for how to make your side view on a CO2 car. Stay tuned for my bonus videos, or at least my supplementals that happen and show up after this video. Probably somewhere in here. Have a great day, we'll see y'all later.